It seemed that only books and voices passed. A new story, a new story. This will do, I thought to myself. On the point of calling him a phony, but that made me uncomfortable. While I was thinking this, he laughed to himself. Hello there. Welcome to episode two of El Arpa's podcast, Story Time. been doing two years of regular podcasts and shall continue to do so but today we have another story which I'm going to read from this piece of paper and you can follow our first story on Audioboom, iTunes, iHeart, Stitcher and a lot of other platforms so please do uh, follow us on one of those and you can hear more stories and more of everything else that we discuss in the podcast. Thank you very much. El Arpa. I've lost count of the number of times I've seen someone piss on a car in Lava PS. This wash feet barrio does exactly that. Uncharacteristic raindrops, characteristic pissing from homeless people, Africans, hippies and writers. This is the working class neighbourhood in Madrid, though the imperial seat of Spain is blessed with various runs of the litter, and not just from the tops of over-tipped bins, cubicles spilling their overfed and over-cultured guts out onto the road. Poor bastards from Vallecas and Vicalvaro have stopped short, however, as far as I know, of urinating on cart, horse and car under different Felipe's, Ferdinand's, Alfonso's and at least two Isabella's. But, brother, your car is my car. Madrid became the capital, like Berlin, after it, simply because it was so unfashionable. Amber discharge, then, is the new fondue. It's like twillers here cocked an envious eye toward the street markets of La Latina, the hipsters of Malasania, the pointlessness of Sol, that glorified fountain where families meet in the evening after a day at Disneyland, and the snobs in Serrano with their Russian wives and Russian hitmen. We need a selling point, they concur, and if piss doesn't do it, then we'll stuff the streets with Indian restaurants and Indians that try to tempt you in, and on occasion, direct you to the public facilities. After all, what is a barrio if it is not barrow? And what are Io but the escape mechanisms of a strangely singular back and forth? Like the bacalera takes human shape, and repurposed human beings hang on the air like a cigarette on a doorstop or plaza bench. Brass necks and metal spray paint in Led Zeppelin t-shirts coexist peacefully with civilians of travel, commerce and food. The rustle of the key in a doorway bleats in the narrow savannas of the streets. But no more likely now to bring a dope seller than a sereno barking at the heel with keys and questions. And they live with the others who sometimes hear of their famines back there. In the absence of their lamps, shallow ground must be found by instinct or memory, away from the merry Magdalen moss between the footpaths. Sometimes, the odd time, The barrio is this and more, when it's not just a place where people live, when the buildings are not mere scaffolds holding up the facade, hinting at it. I remember an acquaintance of mine from long ago, mocking another poet. His inkwell is the kitchen sink, the foam, the soap, he said. I think of that in my old house built for old people, with stretching wood and decay. Ten minutes from elegant townhouses we lived like peasants, two hours from the continent, a place full of people in love with the idea, if not exactly enamoured when faced with it. There is foam in the canyon glass, the frost that tilts the mouth on its axis, forcing through eyelid phases, epileptic stutters and ellipses. Lava P.S. is... a home to proud immigrants. The Latinos shuffle quietly through Cuatro Caminos, blending in save for tears at an airport terminal, Ecuadorian presidents, or a suitcase on a Bravo Murillo bench. And the Chinese, well, they're like ninjas, silent but ever-present. But ninja is selfishly a Japanese concept, and we kidnap it, deport it, or it migrates, flees, seeks refuge. The planes destined for Arturo Soria drop their load just south of the centre, 
and a sculpture there needs filling out with samosas. So, what did the acquaintance mean on the subject of the poor, mocked poet? Whitman basically wrote the first Lonely Planet, so why can't our pet hack write soap opera verses? The, ba the tobacalera is still the tobacalera, no matter what old shite or not they put in it. And the people associate congregate and aggregate knowledge like no other barrio in Madrid. And one can only surmise that that old waltz would have thrived in the modern world of the listicle and in the neighborhood of the Brazilian bar, Ethiopian restaurant, and Cinemateca. Refugees, I have read in some places, should be grateful. And there never has been a more foreign-sounding word in the language of charity. It is what it is, no better or worse than the others. And it hasn't been washed away by its surroundings. And that's the best you can say of anyone and anywhere. That was Lava P.S., a story named and about the famous neighborhood in Madrid, one of the oldest and richest and most diverse uh, in the city. So you can tune in for our regular podcasts on a weekly basis and also tune in for more stories in the new Arapa feature, Storytime. Thank you for listening.